Meanwhile, in Pakistan, COVID-18 has been declared more dangerous than COVID-19. No kidding here. Let me show you the headline and what it states. Rana Sanaula, the president of Pakistan's main opposition party, PMLN, has called the Imran Khan government, which came to power in 2018, COVID-18. He says that COVID-18 has damaged Pakistan more than the virus from Wuhan. And Mr. Sanaula's party, along with several other opposition parties, is on a nationwide sanitation drive to wipe out COVID-18. I'm referring to the anti-government movement launched by the opposition in Pakistan. After days of uncertainty and speculation, the Pakistan Democratic Movement, a coalition of 11 political parties, held its first protest rally in the city of Gujranwala. Thousands of political workers and supporters from across the country attended this rally. Look at these images. It was perhaps one of the biggest shows of strength by the mostly fragmented Pakistani opposition in recent years. The star of the show was Maryam Nawaz Sharif, the daughter of Pakistan's former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, the vice president of his party, PMLN. She was greeted by thousands as she stepped out of her car. And this was followed by a tumultuous welcome at the protest site. Look at these images. Her supporters welcomed her with a shower of rose petals. Remember, Maryam Nawaz is being seen by many as the heir to her father's political legacy. She has established herself as a leading opposition voice in the physical absence of Nawaz Sharif. She has been promising that the Imran Khan government would go home before January next year, and she reiterated the promise during the protest. ये जो जाली हुकूमत है ना इसकी इसका जो एंड है उसकी शुरुआत है ये जो जाली हुकूमत है ना इसकी इसका जो एंड है उसकी शुरुआत है it's the beginning of the end of this illegal government. The conviction is admirable, but will it yield any results? On Thursday, we told you how Imran Khan is going the extra mile to muzzle opposition voices to prevent these protests from happening. His party, Kada, tried their best. PTI workers are being accused of placing large containers on routes leading to Gujranwala. The images are on your screen. The containers are said to have been placed in more than 31 locations. Reports say the police stopped truck and trolley drivers and forced them to park the containers in the middle of the road. And if you think this is ingenious, we'd say it keeps getting better. The Pakistani media says that Imran Khan has managed to arrange 10,000 euros to stage a counter-protest all the way in London. He has reportedly asked his advisor and PTI leader in the UK, a certain Sahib Zada Jahangir, to hold demonstrations outside Nawaz Sharif's London residence. Imran Khan cannot afford to give a pay hike to health workers protesting in Islamabad for days now, but he has enough money to organize a protest in London, even wage a proxy war in Afghanistan. The Afghan media is carrying reports on how Pakistan-based jaish e mohammed and lashkar e toiba terrorists are supporting a Taliban offensive. This is in Afghanistan's Helmand province. Pakistan's strategy of a proxy war is quite evident in the Taliban offensive. The governor of this province has revealed the presence of JEM and LET terrorists. They're training Taliban fighters in bomb making and military warfare. Let me remind you, the violence unleashed in Helmand has forced tens of thousands of Afghan civilians to leave their homes. And Pakistan, the so-called land of the pure, is playing a huge role in this exodus. You have to have rule of law in Pakistan, a strong judicial system, depoliticized police, and, and, and stopping this war on terror, getting out of this war on terror, and immediately starting political dialogue, truth and reconciliation with the people of our tribal areas, uh, and completely abandoning this military approach, which has failed. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one.